Hello and welcome to the official FC Halifax Town YouTube channel. I'm Danny Timms and I've caught up with the first team coach, Lee Nogan. Forwards and backwards. So starting with FC Halifax Town, how do you rate their performance this season? Um, obviously our home form is very good, um, unlike previous seasons where uh, you know we've been the favourites to go up. We've got a lot of the ball and you know we've sort of had 60-70% possession. This year is a bit different where we sort of have uh, changed our way of playing a little bit more because of the conference. Um, so at home we're at the moment we're really happy how it's going. So what made you want to become an assistant manager and why did you choose Halifax? Um, I did my coaching badges when I finished sort of playing um, 35, 36, took my UA for B and then A licence, um, managed Whitby for a bit. Um, it was good, I enjoyed it, but uh, I prefer the coaching aspect of it. You, you know, players can be can be a pain at times in, you know, everybody wants to play, so the manager he gives you a bit of a headache and as a coach you're trying to do the opposite, keep them focused and, you know, players hit good form, have indifferent form and uh, you just try and keep them, you know, so they're, they're ready, if they're available to play, to go out and produce on the day or, you know, in, in my case, I think you consistency is what you look for. So when you first came to the club, what were your initial aims? No aims really. Um, like I say I was coaching at Huddersfield in the academy, and he asked me if I was interested in coming along. I did a bit of scouting for him, and the opportunity came arose. And I was with Neil at Darlington. That's where I know Neil from, when we were players towards the end of our careers. So, you know, I jumped at the opportunity. It's always, it's hard, you know, finding a balance with working and football. So, the next best thing is part time, I suppose, and semi professional. So, it's gone well so far. As you said there, you work with Neil Aspin. What is it like to actually work with him? Um, the good thing is his own man. You know, he knows what he wants, and uh, but he'll, he'll sort of ask me and rub off, and I'll, I'll give him an honest answer. And whether he takes things on board or not, you know, it, he'll have the final say. But it gives him something to think about. Um, but we both strike. We're both winners. We both like to win and. You know, it's, it's that mentality you try and drone into the players. I go into your playing career. Um, what was your most notable moment as a player? Uh, most probably scoring at Wembley for Reading in the, in the playoff final against Bolton. Um, we actually lost the game, which was a bit of a blow, but you know, you, you can't take their memories away. Um, you know, playing at Wembley, never mind scoring at Wembley, so I think that'll have to be the highlight of my career. Was that your most favourite goal, or was it an even better one? Uh, no, I think the goal itself, the build up and the finish, and you know, if you watch it, it's a, it's a team goal as well. Um, if you watched it from start to finish, from the first pass. Um, so, yeah, you know, it was a, we played some good football and we were just unfortunate on the day. Made for Bernal. He loves coming forward to play the nice ball in here to Lee Nogan. Nogan's done well. He's done really well. He scored a super goal. A wonderful goal for Reddy. That was an amazing piece of finishing. The coolness. It looked as though there were two or three moments when he might have shot. But he kept his head and he found an even better opening and finished in the most superb style for Reddy. 1-0. It was a wonderful move right from the beginning. But look at the confidence of Nogan there to twist and turn. It was Stubbs that he beat initially. Then Scott Green came to him and he placed it in the corner. He didn't power it. He knew exactly what he was doing. Left foot. Marvellous start. What would you say is your worst moment? Getting relegated at York City as a player coach. Um, it's the worst feeling I've ever had in football. Um, never been relegated as a player really I, what, I, when I was at Oxford I think we went down but I'd only just come through the ranks and it was a bit different then but um, yeah I'd never been relegated throughout so that was you know a bitter end to sort of my career really in professional ranks. Who was the most favourite player that you liked playing, playing with? 
Um, I've been asked this question a lot. I don't think I could pick out one. I've played with a lot of good players, and you know, it'd be unfair to say, you know, who's the best. I played with um, throughout my career at Oxford and Watford and Reading and Grimsby and so on. I've played with um, with a lot of uh, you know very good players. Now yourself, you played at South End, and as you might gather, I'm from Essex. So what was your time like when you was down there? It was really good for me because I was only young. I went on loan from Oxford United, and I was um, 18. Um, so it was a really good experience for me to play down at that age. Sample. There's nothing better than playing in front of you know three, four, five thousand. Um, and it, it was a good learning curve for me. Now, outside of football, you help teach uh, primary school children. What made you want to go down that route? To be honest, the opportunity arose when I finished at York. Um, knew uh, a few coaches in the area, and they just asked me if I'd like to go in and um, coach kids, basically. And it stemmed from there, and really enjoyed it. And, you know, it's to give a bit back as well. Um, so I've been doing that now for seven years. So it's. Um, I've been, like I say, I enjoy it, and it's although it's my job, it's it, it, it's not like the second best thing to play in football. I think. Apart from the obvious uh, differences, are there any major differences from teaching younger kids to te to help coaching the uh, the footballers here? Yeah, it's totally different. I mean, kids, you, you're in, I'm in primary school teaching kids from five to eleven, so they're just in the you know their journey sport and it's more fun aspect and not saying this is not fun coming here and doing the training but it's a totally different outlook to what they're going to do um, you know through their school age to coming out and coaching adults totally different see so yourself what would you like when you was at school uh, they most probably say could have tried harder um, I remember going back to my secondary school and my biology teacher said to me that um, no wonder you didn't try harder, you knew you were going to be a professional footballer. It wasn't the case. Um, I enjoyed school, but I just wasn't academic, as simple as that. I've learned a lot more through leaving school at 16 and, you know, getting out and leaving my place of birth to go and, um, you know, be a professional footballer. Unfortunate, it worked out for me. So once you made it professional, did you ever go back to your hometown and were you, were you instantly recognised? Yeah, being from Cardiff, obviously, um, when you go back and you know, if you play against Cardiff, a few times I did, you, it's always highlighted where you're from and played for Wales a few times at under 21B and won full cap, so, you know, you, you recognise, but I go home to see my parents now twice, three times a year, um, I always, you always keep in touch, um, speak to my parents, you know, two, three times a week and um, you never lose your roots, as you say, so... Um, you know, it's always nice to go back. So as you said, you played for Wales. Um, what was it like representing your country? Well, it, it's every player's honour to, if you, you know, let's say, to represent your country. And if you can't, you know, putting on a shirt for your for your country, it's um, the feeling's immense. And I was just uh, fortunate to be in a, a lot of squads without playing, but around really good players, talented players. So um, you know, it, it was brilliant for me at the time. And, you know, I'd say to anyone representing your country, you put the shirt on and you go out and give it your, your all. Going back to just being a school teacher, uh, what was your favourite lesson when you was at school? It's an easy one, PE. PE. If you could choose an academic lesson, what would it be? I liked uh, maths, maths, biology. Uh, and English, and they were the main subjects for me. So, if I said maths, what's the square root of 144? Now you, you, you're having me on, aren't you? Are you trying to get me into bother here on the camera? You can delete that one. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Bye -bye.